down a, so it's a little bit more of what you're doing. Okay, so what's your name? Gareth. Okay, Gareth, I'm still Matt. I want you to just walk through here a little bit too now. Okay, so the red rope I just attached to, that's the safety rope, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the rope that I'm in charge of. I'm going to control that from up here, which means if anything happens or if you're going too quick or anything, I've got you on this, okay. this locking device. If my hands aren't on that lever opening it like that, you can't go anywhere. Okay. okay, the rope's locked solid. You don't need to worry about doing anything with that red rope now. You're going to be in charge of this black rope, which is the outer <laughs> line. So this one goes all the way to the ground, running through the figure of eight that I've just attached to you, which is what provides all the friction. So if you take another step towards me, please, what you're going to find, because this rope goes all the way to the ground, there's a fair bit of it, okay? It wants to be just over here, so you'll feel a pull that way. Mm -hmm. You'll only feel that pull while you're standing here. Once you've got you in position, you won't be able to feel it anymore. Okay. To get you in position, I'll need to move out of the way. And once I've moved, you can then spin around to where I am now. Just mm -hmm. put both hands on this silver cable. Take mm -hmm. your left foot, pop it over the cable to there. And then your right foot goes over the cable and stand there behind your left like okay. that. Okay. So when you're ready then, yeah, round we spin. Are we fixed? Excellent. Okay. And then I just need to reach in between you and the tower just to touch. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the last bit of slack out of that red. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same again with the black. Okay. This may feel like it's pulling you up a little bit, but that's a good thing because it means it's easy for you to do the next bit. And the next bit, quite simple, is I want you to bend your knees, mm -hmm. take this toe, pop it against the wall, let your foot slide down, and then put your other foot out there as well. Excellent, put you out there, that's good. Go okay, so we're going to go down a bit before we do photos, so I need to okay. explain to you how to abseil, that's probably quite useful. Right, we'll start at feet and work our way up, all right? Okay. This wall's really smooth and slippy, so you can't get any traction on it. So if you try and sort of do this, sort of like lean back and whatever, all your feet will do is slip out from underneath you. So okay. the easiest thing to do, keep your feet kind of low where they are now, uh -huh. put a bit of pressure against your toes, and that'll do that. It will lift your knees off the wall so they're not sliding down. Cool. And you're just going to let your feet slide down, so you don't really need to worry about doing anything with all them. Right, okay. Your left hand is basically spare, okay? waving. Okay. You can pop it on the wall if you want to, or Hold on to your harness up here, okay? But the most yeah. important thing is that this hand stays off the ropes and away from this bit of metal work, okay? okay? Both hands need to stay off the figure of eight because that will get very hot because of the friction of the okay. rope running through it, all right? Now, this hand, I want you to pop on this black rope and oh. I want you to keep sliding it down the rope until it's there. Okay. Now, to stop, I'll show you on the red rope because I haven't got a black one handy. Okay, to stop, you grab that rope and I want you to pull it as if you're pulling it underneath your bum there. Okay? Yeah. Just pull down and hold. So that's your break, okay? Whenever we want to stop, we pull down. So do that now. Okay. Now, to go, what you're going to do is just lift that rope up like that. Yep, okay. then slide your hand back down the rope, lift the rope up, and slide it down. And that's it, really. I'm just going to stop you for a second now, just to go through it all again with you, okay? So, if you keep your feet at least shoulder width apart, it'll help to keep you a bit more stable right. on the wall there, like that. And remember, you've always got that left hand. If it feels like you're twisting, just pop your hand against the wall, okay? That's fine, so slide down. That's absolutely fine. Okay? Cool. And we pull down to stop, slow down. Pull up to go. I've always got you on this red rope. Should I be letting the rope feed from my hand or should I just be... It's up to you, you can do. If you do that, obviously you can get quite heat. warm because of the heat. If it does, just stop. Yeah. Okay, let it cool down for a minute. Cool. Okay. Right, we're going to go about another five metres and I'll start you for a picture. I'll give you a shout just before we're going to stop. Okay. So lift that rope up. That's 